Hey there! I just finished recording a video of how I did uh, the live set for this year. Uh, I might change it a little bit for next year, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, I had some people ask me how I do things when I play live. Uh, so I figured it'd be maybe faster and easier to record a um, quick video. Uh, I'm gonna try and edit it down now uh, so it's not too, too long. And uh, if you wanna see uh, how I uh, prepare my live and what I, just some couple of examples of what I do live, um, you can check out the video. So hopefully it's fun and yeah, cheers. All right, so let's go into how I do the live set or I've been doing the live set for uh, 2022. Maybe it'll change a little bit for next year, but um, basically it's uh, stems uh, and they go into a tractor and tractor goes into this other software called Audio Hijack, where it goes through a compressor and a limiter. Um, but that's, I can explain a little bit um, on that later. Um, so basically this is uh, each, there's two tracks and they, they are kick and bass and drums and uh, leads and this one would be atmospheres and sweeps and stuff like that um, and the reason why I prefer to do it this way it's uh, because there's a bit of a f more flexibility for me to to play with the tracks uh, instead of adding things in I like to, to play with the things that are already in the tracks since um, I found it a bit hard to um, to play things on top of a track that already has a lot of things in so I prefer just to, to kind of play around with uh, the elements that are already there um, I mean I'll put in a track that um, this track I did with uh, Damiano a couple of years ago uh, Delirium Tremens uh, maybe some of you uh, know this track but uh, just to show you a little bit of what I mean by uh, playing with the elements. So cool thing about the stem systems is that the stem system is that you can um, put effects on on just some layers, and it doesn't mess with the kick and bass. So um, here on my controllers, I have the effect section here. So this is um, uh, effect um, one and three, and this is two and four. Um, here I have uh, filters for each of the each of the stems. Uh, these buttons here are just saying if, there, if the stem has effects on or off. Um, these are my hot cues and um, uh, stop and play. And um, here is where I select tracks. And with this one, I can uh, select the size of the increments where I move uh, the track. Uh, like scroll the track by or if it's a loop how uh, the increments of the loop um and i can also move the track uh, with this one like this you know um here's just the shift button which gives me different functions for these buttons and these two are my loop uh, loop buttons so let me just play a little bit of the leads part of this track and play with uh, one of the effects for example you can hear it. so i'm going to turn in I'm going to say this one has effects and I'm going to turn in effects one and just play a little bit with the stretch on this. <coughs> you can see if I, ha I have the kick and bass on, it doesn't affect the kick and bass. Oops. This one here is the pitch so if i hit this one it just resets it the effect so let's go again
yeah, it's a lot of fun to play with these effects and I can change them anytime I want. If I, this one will change the effect of one and if I hit, if I hit the shift button, it changes the third one. Um, uh, we could put like a classic, where is it? I have the, the effects um, sorted by uh, alphabetical order. For some reason, Tractor sorts them in a strange way and you can, but you can change the order that they're in. I just find it for me a little bit easier like this. So we could have like the classic delay um, without, um, without, um, without sync. That sounds like this. Let me just turn this off. Yeah, there's endless stuff you could do with it. Then you could do combinations uh, of effects, you know, uh, if you turn, it, it goes in, uh, in serial, so you can do one after another. So you could have, you know, um, one going after another, basically. <laughs> another cool thing that you could do, for example, uh, you could put effects on just the kick and bass, for example, and not affect the other ones, uh, which I think is pretty cool for things like beat repeat and stuff like that. Um, so, for example, if you have a kick that's gone too long and you want to make some changes, uh, so I'm just going to turn the effect on the kick and bass, and I'm going to send it to FX4, uh, where I have a key, uh, beat repeat here, um, and basically play with the kick and bass a little bit. So. Um, yeah, that's another cool thing you could do, but there's endless things. I, I, I mean, if, if you have Tractor, you could just play around with the effects and explore it yourself, but it's, uh, it's quite a lot of fun and, um, um, just, you know, something to do. Um, another reason why I prefer this way of, um, uh, of doing my live set is for, um, the way, the way that I'm extract is not really using a, an EQ. It's more, uh, it, it, it's basically taken, a, you know, instead of using the bass to, to switch between kick and bass of two tracks, I just take one out and add another one in. Um, I can show you how that sounds like. Um, I'll put in this track that's... Uh, uh, this track is uh, one I'm working on with uh, Jay Southwild. Um, and it, it's a pretty short transition, but you'll see, I'll just uh, take the kick and bass out of this track and put the, the one in here. Uh, maybe I'll also like switch the atmospheres of one track to another um, uh, for to make a bit of a smoother transition, but I can show you how that sounds like. Um, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
So yeah, it's a little bit of a different way of mixing, but I think it's quite fun. Uh, another cool thing um, that um, that's cool, that's nice to do with with uh, with this setup, is uh, looping parts of a track and then you know bringing another track in, and um, it could be leads, it could be atmospheres, or or for example, like a snare. Even if you like a snare of a track, um, like for example, the snare of this. Um, Track. This one is Coffee Lines. It's uh, an older track also I did with uh, Virtual Light and Fungus Funk back in the day. Uh, it's just a bit of a, a, a remastered version where Vincent uh, changed some, uh, some of the elements of the track and I did a new mastering for it. Um, and it has a pretty strong snare. Like it's just, it's just a different kind of snare that the, that for, for the track that, I, that I'm playing after it. Um, after is a track um, with radical moods, it's a different kind of snare. Like it's a bit shorter, you know, like a bit faster snare. Um, but I, I, I found that there's um, there was a bit of a shock between one track to another just because they're very different. Um, so I, at the end of the, the the coffee lines track, I just loop it a little bit to keep that snare going for a little while, and then uh, transition into the the. Uh, wash my name track with uh, with radical moods, so I can show you how that sounds like. So I'm just gonna bring it up to the end point here, close. Yeah. Let's do that again. That wasn't perfect, but you know, when you hit the record button, it's a little bit uh, <laughs> more complicated. It's a classic. Uh, you hit the record and uh, you know, things don't go as perfectly as they should, but yeah, you get the idea of what I wanted to say. Um, so yeah, basically that's it, you know, it's, uh, it's a fun setup to play with. It's, uh, some, it's, it's a lot to carry sometimes and I, I uh, my major uh, difficulty is many times in clubs and, and and gigs they don't have a lot of space on the tables and even though this isn't too big I find that sometimes you know when you go do a live set and you have like this much space for your laptop and your controller it's a little bit uh, difficult but um, you know I've been trying to to manage and uh, yeah um, see ways that I can work around that um, but yeah, other than that, that's it. Um, I hope that was a 
fairly good and hopefully brief or as brief as possible explanation on how to do this. Uh, you could do the same thing with, with uh, Ableton. I, I used to do it before with Ableton uh, where you trigger tracks and you kind of, you know, play with effects the same way and you use these as levels. Um, I uh, just like a, I like the flexibility of Tractor where you can uh, grab a lead from a track and loop it and, and, and use it with the kick and bass on another track and, and just kind of do all that on the fly. I also like that you can change the effects on the fly. So you, and, and these are cool because you can you can have, they run in series, one, two, three, four. So you could have one track and going into another, into another, into another, um, I mean, effects wise. Um, so it's just, it's a cool, it's a cool, flexible, I found like a hybrid system between a DJ set and, a, and an actual um, live set where you have all this flexibility with all the stems and all that stuff. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I do the mastering myself for these uh, and it's it's nothing that complicated to be honest. It's just, you know, uh, I, I run each of these layers through a little bit of an EQ, maybe sometimes uh, some saturation or uh, something like that, but nothing too complex. You don't need a lot to, to get something uh, sounding good. And it's more about, uh, at least for now, uh, the way I have it to, to, to run this through uh, audio hijack and to have uh, like a low latency compressor and a limiter, which pushes up this pushes up the sound. And um, um, yeah, it sounds Sounds pretty okay. I've A B'd uh, the masters of uh, you know a stereo track with the live set um, stems. Uh, it sounds pretty close. You know, I don't think you could hear the difference in the live set. And yeah, I get to I get to do stuff live and not get bored on stage and play with the sounds and. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of other things you can do, but this video would be like six hours long. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to try and edit this together to see if I can cut up some pieces so it's not uh, too boring. Uh, if you have any questions, send me a message. And uh, yeah, cheers.